responsibility for what she might do or not do, they should apply that same standard to Bridgestone and Firestone. Uh, do we know how their workers fare as compared to those who might work at a plantation for Michelin? Uh, we do know that you don't have all we know, all I can tell you in speaking, I don't want to never want to speak about things I don't know or BS you or your listeners, right. is that there is not an ongoing lawsuit against Michelin. That I know for a fact. And, Mich and Michelin, unlike Richard Firestone, didn't just get um, uh, an award in Davos where they have the World Economic Forum, um, an award for being uh, the worst company in the world in terms of the labor abuses. I mean, Richard Firestone just got that so-called honor and by, by a, a public watch organization called Public Eye. So, I mean, I do think you are talking about qualitative difference between Michelin and Richard Firestone and just the aspect of the ongoing labor battle and the ongoing course but the point that I'm trying to make also is that this isn't, a, this has to be a, a really, really expressed over and over again. There's a difference between, um, you know, from the United States pointing a finger at Chiquita Banana, and if there's a case where actively the workers at Chiquita are trying to organize a union, are trying to organize for higher wages, and are even bringing a lawsuit saying that their very children are being forced to work 12 hours a day among toxic chemicals. That's the reality of what's happening here with regards to Bridgestone Firestone. So anytime you have an active situation where you have a real conflict at work, I think that um, entities like the National Football League need to have a greater level of accountability for who they choose to get in bed with. I have a minute or two, but what else does your book cover? I mean, I try to do a big overview. I mean, everything from the National Basketball Association's relationship to hip-hop music, which is very interesting and contradictory to why Americans don't like soccer, uh, to the pipeline between the Dominican Republic and Major League Baseball in terms of how players are developed in the Dominican factories, the baseball factories. So I try to look at a lot of different issues where politics really are linked.